What's good guys? Um, it's Ben Schmidt back again. So I guess it's the first bit making video of 2019. So I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Um, wish you guys a fruitful year this 2019. Um, more wins for every one of us. Um, so if you're new year, um, please do click the subscribe button down below. Um, you could also put on the notification button. So Whenever I make a post, you get notified. Um, if you have not downloaded my MIDI kit, Bankolize MIDI kit, please, I'll put the link to get that in the description box below. Also, I released a percussion loop kit um, a few weeks ago, so please do make sure you also got that. Amazing, amazing loops in there, so don't wanna miss it. So today, another beat making video, some Afrobeat, some Afrobeat vibes. Um, so I laid down a snare or two, and then I played this guitar um, melody. So I just played. I, I didn't want to forget it, so I just had to put it down. Um, so let's get into it, guys. So as usual, let's talk in more rock. So nowadays I do less quantizing. I just I try to make it, try to give that perfect human feel. Uh, so many things are going to be off, no matter what I do. I would, I'll make it off on purpose. Too fast. I guess I'll copy over the first two bars. Sound perfect to me. Ctrl B to duplicate, then Ctrl D to deselect. So let's try and do some melodies first before I add the other drum elements and percussions. So as usual, I think I'll Cool, there's a sound I'm not feeling nowadays, this small it's so but I usually just do little tweaking. I drop the release a little bit. Get rid of this the tail. Okay, what did I play? Uh if I'm not mistaken, I should be in the key of F sharp and relative minor should be minus one, two, three. Relative minor should be D sharp minor. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. Please always try to learn some music theory to help your lives. Okay, we'll put that in uh, to uh, the so for kalimbas, mallets, um, marimba, so there's something I usually do. I usually strum the first chord. I usually, usually strum the first chord hit and all. So that will be alternate. Yes. Yeah. Can get this feel. So more melodies. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um. Thank you. 
See how it sounds when I quantize it. guys don't forget you see part of the swing and all so little delays here and there in like little off timing rather here and there so it really helps the bounce a lot <laughs> and do one of the things. Sounds okay to me. 
actually off time, it sounds okay to me. Yeah, how did I do that? Um, so to make all lengths even, you shift D, then I highlighted everything, then drag and held, and rather, I'm holding alternate and taking it all the way to the left. Then it appears like I actually clicked the notes on the step sequence and all. Then for my shakers, for my shakers. Mm, okay. So there's something I did rather I saved the MIDI file for um some nice shakers I did. So I just load them up or shift M also. Control M. What happened? Um Yeah, control M is not working. Why isn't it working? Control M shift control M. What save us? Open. Control L. So sorry. I don't know why. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So I have one here. I have another one. I think I have one more. Now, I'll load the other one. So this video might take a while though, just want to just, don't want to rush it. So I don't know how long to show up, but I'll still make it quick as possible. Yeah, I'll bring it down a little bit. So I'll probably add one more shake or so. I'll probably add one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. One more. No shakers, shakers, shakers. Let me test this one here. Cuts, paste. So that does it for the shakers then. Just learn a few snares here and there. Then I could also do some shifting.
Sorry if my mix sounding crappy. I'm using very, very, very poor earpiece. A very poor one. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I actually know the key of the sound, so I just quickly set it instead of going all the way into oh, Edison to find the key and all. So, like I said, find the key of D, um, D sharp minor slash F sharp major. Let's listen to what we have together. sound a lot. Nexus for something a lot. The guitars in Nexus. Yeah. So, no, 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 no. I think it's big bass for three. Uh, sometimes. But if it's proven stubborn, I have the solution to that. Quickly do some little coloring. You know I love them colors. Ctrl Shift L and yeah. I have everything there. I think the bass is on the eighth channel. Yep. Uh huh. Then I put a little distortion in there to help bring out the um upper harmonics and all. Then drop the mix a little. So drop the mix here. Still too much. Look at that in the frequency spectrum. Filter, parametric EQ. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. No, I just like doing the bass last. So let's leave that for later. Let's go into other sounds. Um, 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 um. Funny enough, I think I'm getting to the end of this beat. Uh, let's see, let's see. Thank you. 
said earlier on, I don't do much quantizing. Just take it off as much, off as much as possible. Yeah. So that's yeah. I held shift and so it helped me enable the slice the knife tool. to render um rather just quickly bounce these two with files that's the homosphere they're already eating up my RAM yeah 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 I need a new PC I know um activate um, the record button here then making sure that as the sound I'm playing I just quickly click out on it R then it renders it and drops it on my playlist and come on i can safely disable the plugin i'll do that for the sita also sita 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 whatever Control v just don't mind me just like getting things organized as possible alternate r again starts and and okay so i could get rid of the omnisphere plugins if i want to or um, i'm gonna just leave it there for reference sake and all so quickly send it to their various channels so sita is in the fourth channel then um this should be on the third channel yep so quickly disable this again and yeah, we've saved a reasonable amount of CPU already. Oh, there's one sound I need, I just remembered. Um, roads, um. Beautiful, no. Yeah, this one. Very, very chilly. Uh oh, no, not bad. So, I'm going to do a little EQ. Cut off the low ends. Oh, no, no experiment. Oh, yeah, then. Mm, just to. Do a little bit low cuts. That's a high pass. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So let's draw some sounds. And Thank 
like a high mid um, range so I can can still punch and still have this sort of feel probably let me just leave it or not why does this have okay so let's look for something <laughs> Say I'm done, like seriously. I could say I'm done already. Oh, I'm forgetting something. The bass, the bass. What should I use? Should I use a sample or I should use an electric bass? Which one should I use? Which one should I use? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Is it this one I use or this one? Okay, I think it's already in time and all. So slide it. So there's a new trick I learned. If you hold the alternate button and you roll your mouse wheel, it either quickly increases or drops a knob. So just like this, holding the alternate button as take the wheel up like that, take the wheel down, up, down, down, down. Very cool. So, uh. okay, 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 that's cool. So, I'll send this to this to eight so that it could have the um, what's it called? The distortion effect. Okay. Then these are these are roots. R H O D E S. Yep. Then brass. So I just want to get a little bit organized. Um, small heads. Um. Okay. I made a mistake to fix it.
came from. I don't know. So let me confirm. Um, notes wise, I'm okay. So put the pitch it up to octaves, then listen to it. patterns probably one for the chorus one for the verse yeah Setting FPC already, so yep, this one. So a bunch of hard snares and stomp sounds. So I'll load up something. I have also something I saved for um yep. Which one of them? To this one. So I need quickly need to process this is a drama. Um, I use cheap tech to quickly boost the volumes. I load the um, drum brick punch one preset. Um, then I just get that again. Then 
Oh, I'm just chuck this here. What? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Control X. Control O. F. Four. Control V. Then we have this. What was that? It's supposed to be snare. My favorite crash, my favorite crash. Just for some fuse. Just to arrange it, we're done. Like under an hour, we're done. So let's just. I would love to mix this beat, but I'm on a very bad ear piece right now. Like if I even try to, it's gonna sound so bad. It's gonna sound so bad. <laughs> Thank you. 
Future, 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 future. Uh, you get to last week's credit submission clip. Okay. Oh, that's too long. That's way too long. So just do a little fast filter here. I don't just want to mix it. I think the sound should be balanced to an extent. I don't know. It sounds good over this chip here. the FOP now or later okay so for this tutorial to come with the FLP file um I don't know I might put the no 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 mp3 just the FLP format to come with it so you guys can toy around with it play with it learn new stuff and all so I guess we've come to the end of this video so thanks for sticking around thanks for supporting like thank you thank you thank you for all the support so far if i forgot to mention thank you so much for 1k subscribers so road to 2000 subscribers i know i know i know i'm gonna get there very very soon um love you guys so much so peace we're out